everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i am a hot sweaty mess right now i've been filming today and it's kind of the end of the day it's sunday evening and i thought that i would do another video for my one brand facial series now i haven't done any of these videos in quite a while now but for those of you who might have been following my channel for a while you might remember this series basically i pick a brand in particular and i do a facial or a skincare routine using products from just the one brand so i've done quite a lot of different ones i've done pixie i've done ren i have done loxitan i haven't done too many so far and i really wanted to get back into this series because it's something i really enjoy doing and quite a lot of you seem to really enjoy this series so today Today I'm going to be featuring Temple Spa. Now Temple Spa is a really lovely skincare brand but they also do other things for Bath and Body, they do hair care, they do some makeup, they do quite a lot of different things. The brand was started 21 years ago by Liz and Mark Warham and it was inspired by a trip when they went to the Mediterranean and they were really inspired by different Mediterranean dishes and the ingredients that they used and the Mediterranean markets and they really wanted to encapsulate that in a skincare range and they brought out Temple Spa. The brand really is about trying to be the best version of yourself. That is one of the brand's main ethoses. They are also vegetarian friendly and they also have a lot of products that are also vegan friendly. They are paraben free and they don't test on animals and they also have a lot of products that are gluten free as well and don't have any other nasties in them. So they really do cater for quite a broad range of people. Now I will just say before I get into this video, the products in this video were gifted to me by Temple spa but everything I'm going to say is my honest opinion and I'm going to be giving you my honest review like I always do in these types of skincare videos but as a rule with these particular videos I only pick brands that I actually like so I never pick brands that I dislike so that's why you always see them in this particular series it's because I like the brand and I've used them for long enough to know that I like their product. Also, if you are new to my channel and you would like to support me, you can do so by simply clicking that subscribe button and also by clicking the notification bell down below so you receive updates whenever I post a new video. First order of the day, I'm going to put on my headband that I bought from Primark recently. It's a special one for when you're doing your skincare and it's gold, so I thought it was very fancy, so I bought it. Okay, so... First things first, I'm going to start off with a cleansing balm. I always double cleanse whenever I do my skincare routine. I never just use one cleanser. I use a cleansing balm or oil and then I go in with a type of foaming gel cleanser, something like that to just kind of cleanse anything that's left over. So first of all, let's start off with a cleansing balm cream first of all we have the be gone kind-hearted cleansing cream now this is a really nice product it's a very thick cleansing cream this contains vitamin a vitamin e basil aubergine licorice and apricot so it's got quite a lot of things in there it's not overly scented though like i thought it would be very scented with those ingredients but it's actually not it's quite a mild scent so i'm just going to get a little bit like this on my hand and then i'm just going to go straight in and start to massage this into my skin. Now, like I say, this is more like a cream, so I find that because it's a cream, you don't need to put too much on, but what I would say is, unlike other oil-based cleansing balms I've used, I find that I do need to give this a few minutes longer, and I do need to kind of massage this a bit more into my skin. With some, I find because they're oils, they break down makeup a bit more quicker, but because this is a cream, I tend to find that this one's a little bit more I don't want to say slow, but it just takes a little bit more longer to, you know, to kind of work in and get rid of the makeup. But one thing I do like about this is that because it's got the vitamin E in there and the vitamin A, it really makes your skin feel soft. Now I'm going to take my hot, wet flannel and I'm going to just remove that cleansing cream. Yeah, you probably can see a little bit of a, um, a dark tinge to my face where it uh, has kind of moved the mascara around. But I just don't like using makeup wipes. I just prefer to use a cleansing cream. So I have now removed the cleansing cream and I really like this cleansing cream because it does leave the skin feeling really smooth afterwards. And now I'm gonna move on to using my second cleanser. So the cleanser that I'm gonna be using is the Good To Go Creamy Foaming Cleanser. This cleanser is for normal skin and it's SLS free. So this contains aloe vera, carrot, bergamot, lemon, 
tangerine, cucumber, honey, watercress, and it also contains multivitamins as well. So I've taken a couple of pumps onto my little Foreo face cleanser. This is basically an electronic face cleanser and it's really changed the way I cleanse my skin. I absolutely love it. You basically press a button and there's different settings to have it on different speeds. It's a silicone cleanser, so it's really great to clean and it just gives the pores a more deeper clean. So it's actually really good. I was really skeptical at first, but when I got it and I started to use it, I was just absolutely mind blown. So since then, my skin has been very clear. I don't get hardly any spots these days. I used to get really bad hormonal breakouts, um, but not so much anymore. So I absolutely love it. So this cleanser foams up really well, even though it doesn't actually have any SLS in it. SLS is basically a foaming agent. So I find that really impressive. It has a really nice scent. It definitely has that kind of Mediterranean summer tropical vibe to it. I think you can definitely smell the tangerine in there. It definitely has that really tangerine-y, but also bergamot, citrusy, fruity scent. So it's very nice to use in the morning. It makes for a very good morning cleanser if you're just feeling quite tired. I like to pay attention to the nose because that's where I tend to get a lot of blocked pores. I'm now gonna go and wash this off and I'll be back with you in one minute. So that's my skin cleanse using the Good To Go cleanser. I just think this is a really nice cleanser if you want something that's really quick and easy. It foams up really well. It's got a lovely, really pleasant scent to it and it just makes my skin feel very clear and it foams up really well but it doesn't make your skin feel dry afterwards so it's just really good if you aren't a really big fan of gel cleansers and you like that more of a foamy consistency but don't like having your skin feeling dry afterwards so now i'm going to be using the breakfast smoothie gentle exfoliation scrub and mask so this contains a lot of ingredients so in this we have honey jojoba papaya strawberry orange apricot pear apple and oatmeal it smells amazing it has a really nice scent to it. Now, one thing I will say about this is that I wouldn't use it every single day and I wouldn't use too much of it when I do, just cause I find that sometimes my skin can look a little bit red after I've used it and if I've scrubbed too hard with it. That's all I'm gonna do to it. I'm not gonna rub my skin too much because I don't wanna aggravate it. So now I'm gonna go and wash this off and then I'm gonna come back and show you the results. So that's my skin cleansed using the breakfast smoothie scrub and mask. So as you can see, this is what my skin looks like. It does look very fresh and quite awake and very well scrubbed. But like I say, because I've only used a small amount because I didn't rub too hard, it hasn't aggravated my skin. I would also say try using it when your skin is semi-wet or damp. Don't use it when it's sopping wet in the shower or the bath because I find that makes the skin a bit redder after I've used it. So I tend to find it works better as kind of like a short mask or like a a scrub just when your skin is a bit damp. I just find personally that works better for me. It's very pleasant to use and it does make my skin feel really good. And I tend to use it maybe once or twice a week just to really just freshen up my skin and just to give it a little bit of a cleanse. And it's just really nice to use. And for a little extra step, I'm also going to be using the Smooth Talk Exfoliating Lip Scrub, just because, you know, the lips also need to be exfoliating as well, though they're not. This has a more like a, a balm kind of base to it so it's a little bit more gentle. I find that some lip scrubs are very very scrubby and they can be a little bit too drying on the lips. This one not so much. Okay so now we need to move on to toner next. So now for my toner I'm going to be using their toning essence. This is a facial mist and it contains no alcohol so it's completely alcohol free. So this is basically a cocktail of really zesty, uplifting ingredients. You've got tomato, lemon, orange, melon, rosemary, basil, mandarin, lime, and ginger. Now this straight up smells like a cocktail. Like this is honestly one of my favorite things from Temple Spa. I think if I had to pick one thing to use just solely from Temple Spa and I couldn't use anything else ever again, I would pick this just because of the smell alone. The smell honestly is such a nice fragrance. So I'm just gonna spray some of this onto a cotton pad. Oh God, and then just wipe it over my skin. I genuinely wish they'd bring this out in like a perfume or something because I would absolutely buy it. It smells that good. It's just really nice to use in the morning. Sometimes I actually just spray it on my face when I'm feeling a bit hot. If I've been in the garden, I will literally just spray this as a facial mist and it just feels really good. Luckily, because I've cleansed my skin quite thoroughly, I don't tend to get a lot of products on the actual cotton pad. So this is just more as a step just to help to 
balance the skin, to restore the pH balance and just to, you know, close the pores and just something just nice to do and also toning essences and toners tend to work really well when you're putting on your skincare products like your serums and things they just help them absorb better into the skin so that's why it's good to use them and because there's no alcohol in it it doesn't dry the skin out it doesn't make the skin feel really tight and irritated so it's really good if you've got sensitive skin like i say i've got kind of normal to sensitive skin that sometimes gets a bit hormonal so i tend to find that alcohol free toners do work better for me and this is just a really nice toner and genuinely if you've never smelt this before and you can go and give this a sniff because it smells so good so next up we have a serum this is the be strong skin strengthening serum now this has a cocktail of mediterranean botanicals it also contains a lot of multivitamins as well it's designed to penetrate into the epidermis and to really target weak fragile skin signs of redness that kind of thing it's to strengthen the skin so skin that feels a little bit more maybe drier or just a little bit more thin and just tends to maybe lose moisture a bit more easily i really like it because it's quite lightweight so i'm going to use a bit of it on the back of my hand two pumps is always enough for me my skin tends to feel a little bit more fragile sometimes so i do really like this serum for that reason it has a really nice texture to it because it's not sticky it doesn't feel tacky on the skin it spreads really well and it absorbs really quickly but it still feels like you've got something on the skin without feeling like your skin's kind of sticky which i hate it's just a very nice product it just has a very good texture and it just feels very very comforting so that's why i like using it especially at night i like to just kind of sit there and just spend a bit of time just really patting this into my skin it's really good to put underneath more heavier creams and masks and things like that so if you're using quite a lot of products and you want to layer your serums for example this is a really good one to use because it doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't peel either you don't get that kind of peeling thing where all of your products kind of gather and collect so it's a really good product to use now we move on to a face mask so this is the be calm face mask and this is actually one of the first things i used from temple spa when i got sent a few of their products to try this contains basil aubergine licorice and apricot so it's again got that kind of botanical vibe in there but if you're a fan of things like smell like a spa then you'll definitely like this I'd say this is quite thick, so you don't need to use too much of it on the skin. But I would say this works well if you want to put on a face mask that's going to absorb over a longer period of time and that's going to absorb slowly into the skin, like overnight for example. Maybe if your skin's a bit more dry or irritated, this is a really good shout because it definitely does that. When you first put it on, I tend to find it can feel a little bit tacky on the skin, like it's got a little bit of a tacky texture, but it does absorb after a couple of minutes and it just leaves your skin feeling so so moisturized and soothed and it's just really really good for irritation or if your skin's feeling very dry or if you just want to give your skin a little bit of rejuvenation i always feel my skin looks a lot more plump when i've used it and it genuinely is such a nice product to use in the evenings i have used it both in the winter time when my skin gets really dry and in the summertime as well and it just works really really well i genuinely do like it i think this is a staple if you've got sensitive skin or any kind of irritation or hormonal skin this works really well i find that a lot of the temple spa products do work very well for hormonal skin so if you get a lot of hormonal breakouts i find that a lot of their products do work really well and they don't irritate the skin so they won't make your skin look really red and aggravated and kind of highlight any hormonal spots which is why i like it because I have suffered with that for the last few years not so much now actually i find that my skin's doing a lot better since i've changed certain things that, I've, that i do now but this just works really well when i have got a hormonal spot because it just helps to just soothe my skin and take down any redness as you can see that's what my skin looks like and i genuinely do feel like it really improves the texture of my skin if my skin's been feeling a bit more rough or textured I just put this on in the evening, a thick layer, go to bed and I wake up and my skin just looks really, really lovely and it doesn't break me out either so I can actually afford to do that and it won't break me out. Now we have a face oil. This is the Light Relief CBD Balm Booster Oil. So this contains CBD, hemp oil, coconut and mandarin. So this is basically a lightweight superfood oil. And it's enriched with hemp and CBD oil and mandarin. 
and it helps to soothe the skin if your skin's feeling very stressed out or it's looking a little bit worse for wear it's good if your skin's feeling more fragile or if it's dehydrated it contains 3% of CBD complex to calm down the skin signs of redness and things like blemishes or irritation and the hemp and olive oils uh, help to really rescue your skin to replenish it and moisturize it I would say that this is a really amazing oil for blemishes which you might think is weird because like blemishes oil on a blemish no 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 I was like a bit dubious but my skin was feeling really irritated I had one particular hormonal breakout on my chin just one it was just one of those really stubborn ones so I just didn't want to do anything to it so I just cleansed my skin put on my moisturizer and I thought I'd try out a couple of drops of this and it actually works really well it doesn't reduce the spots in terms of their size but what it does do is it will take down the redness and the irritation and the soreness so that you just basically are left with a blemish so it's a lot easier to cover up and that's why I like this so much I tend to find that two drops is enough for me you don't need to use a lot so a little does go a long way and it just works really well as part of a massage routine so I'm going to take two drops of this onto my hand like so and then I'm just going to start massaging this into my skin. It has a gorgeous scent to it. You can really smell the mandarin oil in there. So if you're a fan of mandarin, this smells amazing. It just feels so, so nice on the skin and it just really helps with any redness. This is just very, very good. If you've got any kind of irritation or blemishes or hormonal skin, you need to try this because it works really, really well. Trust me. I'm a testament to it. So next I have these. These are eye pads. They're called the I Survive Multi Effect Serum Complex Treatment Eye Mask Patches. And they're to tighten and firm the skin. But they look like this. They come in these sachets and you basically just pop them on under your eyes and just wait for about 20 minutes for them to just absorb. This is definitely a more luxury aspect of a skincare routine. I would not be using these willy-nilly because like 35 pounds for a pack of six mm, yeah you probably would be using them more if i've got like a night out or if i'm doing a pamper routine like a proper like pamper routine where i want to spend a bit more time on myself and i've got the time but they are very very nice they're very cooling and they really do help with puffiness so if you have had a bit of a night out on the town shall we say i mean we've probably not had a lot of them in recent months but you know things are starting to get back to normal so I know that recently I had a little bit of a night out and uh, I was feeling a bit uh, worse for wear so I used some of these then um, but definitely if you've had a bit of a uh, a night of it or you've been doing a lot maybe you've been hitting the books or you're just feeling a bit tired your eyes are looking a bit puffy these are just very nice to whack on sit there with a cup of tea or an audiobook or some netflix or whatever and just take the time out to put these on and just take some time out for yourself one thing i will say because they are serum based they've got a lot of products on there they are a little bit slippery so if you're setting up like this for long periods of time they can slide down your face a little bit i think that's the point of using these to be honest you're supposed to be lying down and treating yourself you know taking some time out for you so that's the whole point of using something like this you know treat yourself life's too short i've got some information about them here which i'll read out to you whilst i sit with these on so basically they are to help brighten and reduce puffiness and the eye area to reduce signs of uh, well-lived life in your eyes um, which is a, i think is a very polite way of putting it they are biocellulose coconut derived fabric patches and they're drenched in their specialist eye firm complex that is for fragile eyes and basically just helps to just give you a more of a firm look under the eyes i find that they work like i said very well for puffiness or if i've got signs of fatigue under the eyes they are just very good to use for that they do feel really good and it's just something quite enjoyable to do i think it's just a nice thing to do for yourself right okay now because it's getting quite late it's a sunday night i have work tomorrow uh, i am going to wrap this up because i don't really have 20 minutes to wait for these to work thank you so much everyone for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed trying out all the products with me and having a bit of an introduction into temple spa let me know in the comments if you've tried temple spa and if you have what you've tried from them and what your skin type is be sure to like comment and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you've got any recommendations for any other brands that you would like me to possibly feature in the future and i will see you all next time take care guys bye